Hello guys, this is the Ultimate Oven Reflow Tutorial and it's presented to you by XboxExperts.com um, As you can see, the board doesn't look the way it would look usually um, I've desoldered um, a couple of capacitors which are quite in the way usually like by the experience I collected from the heat gunning tutorials I figured out that this one often causes for example that you put the aluminium foil over the RAM blocks and while reflowing the console actually they might get loose and press on the RAM and this caused some damage that's why I chose to desolder these parts but it's not necessary if you don't want to you can just insulate them as well but it's easier like that if you know how to solder so you might want to do that if you can um, I've insulated all the parts here it's like um, first it's a cello, f um, cello tape, then another layer of um, electric tape and in the end a couple of layers of aluminium but that's all pointed out in the tutorial and you can find the link in the info of this video. Well, um, then I've built, um, because we're going to put it on a grill, we don't want anything to touch it, so I mounted a uniclamp without pads of course. So a blank one to the back of the main board to keep some distance so that it doesn't get in contact with the grill actually. Um, there are, is a screw, then the uniclamp, five washers, the main board, and on top another washer and then the nut, which then fixes the main board to the uniclamp. Well, this is my microwave oven, sorta. This, um, can actually be used like a real oven and yeah it's really like a real oven you can turn the microwaves off entirely that's really important if you want to do it with a microwave make sure that it's only heat not microwaves well we don't want that turning table thingy here because that's going to be really bad if you want to reflow there it shouldn't be any movement at all so we're going to get rid of that first well let's place the griddle inside Best. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, let me put you to the side for a second. It's pretty much in the center right now. We gotta adjust it a bit more. As you can see, it's hovering over the griddle, nothing's touching. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's just the back of the board, it's alright. It's gonna smoke a bit anyway, so. Well. God damn it. All right, let's start this thing up. I will do it slightly um, longer than last time in my first oven reflow. It's because I think it hasn't reflowed properly because it started freezing like a week later. So I had to adjust the screws and for now it's been working, but three minutes didn't seem to be enough. All right, so this is oven only. We start with 150. For a minute, it's like preheating, kind of. Right. Don't see much inside, of course. Nothing's turning or so. Okay. Let's wait for 50 seconds. Uh, it's going to be pretty boring, so I'm going to put this up a bit. goes on now with 180 for another minute and 20 seconds note it's been totally cold and it's got to heat up a bit anyway first all right I'm gonna skip that again in the video okay next step at 210 degrees for a minute, barely. It's gonna be pretty tough already on the main board. A little smoke a bit. At the moment it doesn't get, you don't see much, okay. Well, okay. It's gonna be the next step, it's gonna be a 230, and we're gonna do that for five minutes. Okay, we're at the final step of 230 degrees for 5.50 minutes. I'll do five minutes, but 
I want to do it a bit longer in case something happens. All right. Let me skip that. Nobody knows what's going to happen. You guys can't see anything really inside, but... Solder looks good. It hasn't liquefied yet. Oh, okay, now it looks like it's liquefying actually. It's getting more shiny at least. Almost. It's getting closer and closer. We have we are have been running the thing for three minutes now. Solar looks. Yeah, it looks really shiny. I think most of the other stuff will have liquefied by now. Oh, and it's starting to smell a bit as well. No smoke yet though, which is a good sign. Means my insulation is working. Okay, I think the solar will have liquefied by now for sure. It's looking super shiny and yeah, it's starting to smell a bit as well. <laughs> that will be the evaporated flux. Yeah, it is definitely liquefied. Now you can see it's totally shiny, the solar bolts. I'll give it another We've been running it for four minutes now. I think I'll give it another half a minute and then can't risk it anymore. Cause there's a little bit of smoke rising now. That's sad. Don't panic if you see smoke rising. It doesn't fucking matter. It's not like a fire. It's not going to start burning. And if it does, oh well. <laughs> it's unlikely. Yeah, so does liquefied for sure now. Good thing. Alright, we are at 4 minutes 30 now. Note that I started with 5.30, so don't worry about the time. It's going to be 4.30. I'm going to do another 10 seconds. Oh yeah, okay. It's time to stop. 4.30 it is. Okay, now open the window. Slightly. Then open the door really carefully. There's a lot of smoke coming out. Not a lot, but quite a little bit. See the insulation is slightly raised. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's a little bit bad because the connector is open. Alright. I see. I don't, I'm not sure if you see the smoke, but there's a slight bit of smoke. See there? See it a bit. It's just normal. Well, I must say the chip looks really, really good. It's super shiny. The solder below it will have liquefied for sure. So this is definitely necessary. You gotta do four minutes and thirty. So far, I've also not heard any. Ah, oh, man, this is pretty hot. hope it cools down pretty quick yet now. Problem is you cannot cool it down too quickly, otherwise the solar bolts will fuck up and crack. Whoa. Oh, there's still a bit of smoke. Yeah, but the insulation is working well so far. So far none of the capacitors has blown or so. Alright, this, this was the ultimate reflow tutorial with the oven by xboxexperts.com. And at this point you just gotta wait for another half an hour or so until your oven is cooled down and so has the mainboard. Yeah, well, I remove the insulation really, really carefully and Try not to bend it too much because it's just been reflowed. You don't want to break anything while doing that. Okay. Thanks for watching and goodbye.